Isle of Palms Beach here as we begin our uh, second uh, part of our Rise and Shine series as we go over how the peanut dude found gratitude, the 10 by 10 hardback book that's really uh, inspiring people from young and old to really engage gratitude. We don't want to just feel grateful, we want to begin to express our gratitude. So first let me begin to express our gratitude to you for tuning in. Um, please take a look out here. We've got some beautiful waves rolling in here. We got a group of guys out there. One of them's wearing shorts. Love that dude, baby. Hey, it's February in Charleston, South Carolina. So with that being said, as we gave you a preview last time, we're going on to the back of the book here. Some wonderful things to cover here. We went over a nice discussion of uh, Melody Betty, who really uh, opens us up to this wonderful line, y'all. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. Thank you for that. We could have stopped right there. But let's continue. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. Here's a fun one. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home a stranger into a friend. Gratitude makes sense of our past, peace of today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. You know, one of the things I really love here is how gratitude, gratitude can turn our house into a home. You know, how many of us are really waking up daily and taking time to ponder and enjoy the gratitude that really surrounds us within our home? Um, it's a lovely, lovely thing to wake up with that heart and mind focused on gratitude. Another thing we want to show you on the back of the book, which is real exciting, this is Sarah Caldwell. She's an amazing angel to the world. She was a child prodigy um, as it related to the violin. She went on to uh, be involved with the opera and an amazing, amazing angel. We'd love for you guys to get to know Sarah. But the reason Sarah is on the back of our book here, How the Peanut Dude Found Gratitude, is because of this wonderful quote that she's known for. And I really try to live by it. You know, I love to learn all the time. I love asking questions that might seem uh, uh, as though they're obviously easy to answer. I love learning from people. I love reading biographies. I love speaking to people in the community, young and old. And I really want to encourage you guys to do that. I want you to really begin to value that exchange of dialogue and that rising tide rises all mentality. You know, we're here to learn from each other, guide from each other. You know, where I'm weak, you're strong. So let's continue. Sarah's quote is so wonderful. Let's read it together. Learn everything you can, anytime you can, from anyone you can. There will always come a time when you'll be grateful you did. Sarah, thank you for that message. And I'm so grateful that that made it to the back of our book because that's how we got here. You know, I love waking up every day and saying, you know what, I don't know. I do not know and so I shall learn today. And so thank you so much, Sarah. And you know, I love to say this, focus. Never judge a soul by the skin it's in. Never judge a fruit tree by the fruit you see, you see. What do I mean by that? Do not just assume that due to the appearance of somebody or uh, the way they're dressed at a particular time that they may or may not have something to teach you. You know, I've really come to learn in my life, oh my, you know, I learned the best things at the strangest places from the ones you would never expect it from. And the more I learn that as truth in my life, the more I ask these fun questions to people who um, uh, are really, number one, surprised I'd ask them these questions, and number two, they really enlighten me. So we want you to begin to learn, again, from anyone you can, anytime you can, because again, there's always gonna be a time you'll be grateful that you did. So let's take a moment, let you guys chew on that for a little bit. MC is gonna rock and roll and get a little picture here.
And now we're going to go and take you to that board up, that lab section of the gratitude book. Isn't it so beautiful here, y'all? You know, I want you to know what you focus on expands. So begin to focus on the good in your life and you're going to find more of it, okay? Again, focus on the good in your life and I assure you, you will find more of it. Gratitude is one of these fun little things that grow like a snowball. You find one little thing you're grateful for and the mind is reminded of another thing you're grateful for. So begin to flow and have fun with that. We conclude here with the writing there that um, um, this literally took almost longer to write than the book did itself, y'all. So let's read and share it together. Um, this is what I really wanted to share with uh, all of you all as to um, what's contained within this gratitude book. So here we are. Gratitude is an action word. Gratitude must be focused on and gratitude must be discussed for both children and adults to fully experience its benefits. The feeling of gratitude brings great joy to all who understand it and live by it. Contained in this book is the message of gratitude and the importance of gratitude as it relates to maintaining a happy life. First, you will enjoy a literary poem written in rhyme titled, How the Peanut Dude Found Gratitude. This story takes you on the journey of discovering gratitude while also exploring the meaning of gratitude. The journey ends with an awesome Peanut Dude gratitude game for all to play and enjoy. The gratitude game helps the player to become more grateful while also helping the player improve both alphabet and word skills. In the back of the book, you will also see we added a gratitude workbook to help further engage and involve the reader. The workbook contains my ever-growing gratitude list plus tools and tips to help bring the emotion of gratitude to life. It is wise to be grateful. It is wise to be wise. Smile and enjoy sharing this book and the message of gratitude with your friends, family, neighbors, and loved ones. Chris Bible, AKA The Peanut Dude. So thank you all for listening to that. And um, there's so much contained within that um, to really get our minds thinking about certain things. We're going to sort of conclude here with one thing as we close out this uh, part two of our Rise and Shine series. And what I want to show you is, it's very important to note, oh yeah, where is it? Here we are. Watch here. Watch here. Contained in this book is the message of gratitude and the importance of gratitude as it relates to maintaining a happy life. Well, I want to share with y'all something. Gratitude comes before being happy. If you're waiting to think that you're going to be grateful the moment certain things arrive in your life, or if you feel as though happiness is a byproduct of certain tangibles, that's wrong. Let me be very clear. When we wake up and rise and shine with a heart full of gratitude, we begin to find that happiness and joy just begins to be a part of our day. So again, I say, if you wish to be happy, let me first say, wish to be grateful. And if you wish to be grateful, I kindly suggest that you begin to focus your mind on what it is you're grateful for. And I absolutely understand what it's like when we can look around our lives at times and say, oh my, you know, I just have nothing to be grateful for. I understand that. You know, as a person who wrote a book about gratitude, I can ebb and flow in and out of being actively grateful. I'll tell you, I just really want you to know whether you need to begin with the alphabet and the letter A and just say, you know what? Life ain't perfect today and I don't have a whole lot to be grateful for today, but I'll tell you what, I'm grateful for air. That's a great start. Begin to be grateful for air because I'll tell you right now, love, money, 
and oxygen. Never fully appreciated until supplies run low. I'll share that one again. Love, money, and oxygen. Never fully appreciated until supplies run low. So watch here, knowledge of is to rise above. So now that you know this, be grateful for all that love in your life. I want you to look at those children of yours and express that gratitude. I know it's not easy being a parent. I know it's not easy being a loved one. I know it's not easy being a child of some wonderful parents, but I want you to know something. I want you to know something. What you focus on expands, and I want you to look at those angels around you, and I want you to see the good in them. Feel the good in them. Give them all the love your heart can muster. Because let me tell you, like we said on that last part of our Rise and Shine series, love truly is that best medicine. And so we're so thankful that you guys tuned in to this part two of Rise and Shine with the dude of gratitude. Um, we're real excited to next take you inside the book. Oh yeah. So yeah, we're gonna have another part to this series. And we're gonna go in and to give you a preview again, we're gonna talk a little bit about Charleston, South Carolina. I love this. You'll see the co-publisher of this book was nobody other than the most amazing angel of all, Mom. I don't care who you are, we all got one. And I'm gonna tell you, we're nothing without those angels. So we'll go into the interior of the book next time. Until then, Let's do this. We're going to pan out to the ocean. I'm going to give you some time to let your mind focus on anything you're grateful for and let it begin to expand and one thing to the next. We'll see more and more we're grateful for. And so if you'd like to purchase the book, visit peanutdude.com. All of the books we send are signed and we're just honored and so grateful to be a part of this journey with you all as we share these gifts of gratitude. It's such a blessing, it's so humbling, and I really consider all of you all my friends and family, and just so thankful you tuned in. So until next time, focus your mind on gratitude, and we'll see you again soon.